When writing The Innovation Revelation, a story about service design plus agile, I found that service design was new to many people. So I thought it'd be beneficial to ask a few experts for their explanation of service design. Here are some clips from their videos. For me, service design is an academic discipline and a professional practice that seeks to design better experiences for citizens, consumers, customers that interact with services on a day-to-day -day basis as well as over the course of their lives. The trite answer is it's the design of services. But more importantly than that, it's the design of services end-to-end -end and done in a holistic way from the perspective of the needs of the user of those services. Service design is focusing on the real challenge that your organization is having. Involving the people who are experiencing that challenge or know a lot about that challenge because they are connected to it in some way and working together to test out different solutions over a certain period of time. The essence of service design is bringing everyone together, right? It's almost like a glue uh, between different stakeholders and disciplines and, uh, or a bridge, if you will, right? A bridge is a nice metaphor for it. It's not just about providing seamless and frictionless experiences, it's about helping people get a job done um, and also as designers we need to make sure that we are solving the right problem. So service design is really about taking a holistic approach, understanding a business's resources and identifying and ultimately improving the touch points um, between the business, its employees and its customers. So service design to me is a choreography of different teams across the programme and project of work. Um, so this is about identifying all the different user needs, uh, business opportunities, and it sort of provides a framework, I think, to guide and manage those deliverables um, of desired outcomes and ultimately being a champion for the user. Service design for me is really the high level consultative part of design whereby it looks at the overarching problem and suggests solutions and actions them um, from top level through to the um, microscopic level. Service design also helps an organization understand what the customer needs and not necessarily what the customer wants. It helps an organization bring together the idea around what the business is ready for and its own maturity. And then it wraps it together with what good experience looks like. Service designers shape experiences with and for everyone involved. Uh, it's done by visualizing the complexity of a system, by making sense of opportunities, and by testing out holistic ideas um, to see if they work. Service design is ultimately understanding what is meaningful to people and uh, making that happen. I describe service design as a methodology um, and underneath that methodology there are three things. There's a process, there's a set of behavioural mindsets and there's also a set of tools. I think service design is UX craft skills, thinking really big, thinking really small and always asking a better question. If I have to say what service design is for me, is designing experiences that reach people through different touch points, digital, physical, and that happen over time. I believe that service design is important because as a practice, it's all about drawing a thread between these user motivations, pain points of service personnel, constraints with technology, and also the business needs. It's all about trying to make an effective service experience that is both sustainable and enjoyable in the long term.